some. What's your name? Cody. Cody, and what do you have in here? Uh, two platform four S uh, PSI, two uh, Terra and fake case. Uh, 3k RMS per sub Nice. How much battery power? Never clamped it. Never uh, yeah, okay. done any of that. And it's a Terramps AK? Yeah, two okay. Terramps AKs. I okay. just got them gain set to 3k each. Nice. A lot of people asked me in the last video why I have the 18 inch here, but people are like, well, it's a 15. Everybody, it looks like 15s. Everybody says, hey, them some nice 15s, man. You don't yeah. know how many times the show it's I go. It's like 15s. No, they're not 15s. I know you can't see them very well, but, you know, it's like. Is that right? Your voltage is low. No. That's about three off from my back. Uh, okay. That's on my front battery. Oh, uh, okay. I can. Yeah, I was just wondering. I got the throttle adjust on it. Really? Yeah. I gotta get one of them, maybe. Oh man, that's dude. I, it was. To go. I sometimes hear one person blew their engine. It was an older van. He was revving too much because yeah. it goes up to like four or five, and he just. I can set that all day. And yeah. Just put it on play nice. and just walk away. Sweet. And just let it demo when people walk by that's and check it sweet. out. Nice. American base. All right. So you just got the four? One, two, three, four. Back up the four, the four, and then um. Pioneer 6x9 is in the door. They're still stocked. Yep, stocked. And then we got a Pioneer head unit. Yep. Cool. All right. Awesome. Appreciate the demo, man. No problem. Sounds good. I'll check out your amps in the back. Yeah. It looks clean. Thank you. Thank you for the demo. No problem, man. I appreciate it.
25. Okay. Just gonna see if you have any lows. I can uh, I can dip down to 18. Whoa. But it falls off about 25. Does this so go like back? There you go. I Pretty good though. Yeah, I mean, it's probably at least 24 or 26. Oh, yeah, gosh. I mean, it ain't loud, but you want me to put this window up? No, I don't unload it. Oh, okay, uh, it ain't loud at all, but it, it stretches them out. Yeah. Something I've never done before. Light and light. I got a light and a light. A light. They're 20. Making loafers slap and rookies tap. <laughs> it's DJ Rusticles. guys it's jacob vile for another daily shout out goes to a kirk appreciate you watching man uh, he mentioned in one of the videos about a week ago hey could you give me a shout out man i watch all your videos and just know that i never miss a video and i really think that you're better than most of the others and you're headed to the top real talk so i really appreciate you kirk for um commenting and there's your shout out of the day anybody if y'all ever want a shout out just comment and say hey give me a shout out jacob and give me some good feedback about the videos I appreciate you guys always watching, and I have one topic to discuss today about this system. Um, basically, don't play too low below tuning. Just because he played in this video doesn't mean it's necessarily acceptable for every system. He knows his limits, so 18 hertz was his limit. He doesn't have his subsonic full tilt at that frequency. So I wanted to discuss real briefly for about a minute. Whenever you know your limit, basically you can know by setting your subsonic to prevent the subwoofer from overflexing. If you ever hear a little uh, sound or you see your subwoofer flopping or causing it to basically bottom out or you hear some form of mechanical issue, then you know you're going to your limit. If your subwoofer box is tuned to 32 hertz, don't play 20 hertz full tilt with the subsonic off. Um, obviously some people are going to send it or don't care and they'll play it anyway. But in general, that kind of stuff leads to your suspension 
um, the coils and all of that can tear. Not the, not the coils, but the suspension can tear. And um, even I've seen people's subwoofers, the cone portion of it can tear because it's basically bottoming out and it's causing everything to fold up. So I just wanted to bring that up real quickly, um, is make sure that you set your subsonic properly. Uh, most enclosures, they recommend two to three hertz below the, your um, tuning of your enclosure. That's what most subwoofer manufacturers recommend. That way they can protect the subwoofer and know that it isn't going to go exceeding its uh, mechanical limits when it comes to the excursion, over excursion from unloading, from playing too low. So I guess that's all I got for today. I uh, appreciate you guys always watching. Any questions ever, feel free to comment. And this is Jacob Bile out. Till next video.